Hi there, Jess Thomas here, Thomas.co, just giving you a quick uh, rundown video on the installation of a Karasawa 90mm drum brake uh, maintenance and fitting. So just on this particular one, I've taken it off already to keep the video short, but I'll just show you the inner guts of the thing. You've got this drum which uh, evidently sits on the threaded hub of your bicycle wheel and the uh, band brake is just um, held in that black outer casing and the actuating lever simply reduces the diameter of the band giving the braking effect and you want to make sure that this is all clean inside and that your drum doesn't have any bumps or rust or anything on it corrosion and that it's uh, not worn this is practically brand new so it's got the, the, the ribs all over it and you want to make sure there's no grease in here you don't want to grease this it's a brake so keep it dry dust and grease free so then I'm just going to show you quickly the fitting um, so that you can see how it's put together evidently once you've put the drum on here it screws on clockwise and comes off counterclockwise simply fit the drum on and then there's a nut that goes here to hold this to the, the main rim on your axle so then that's usually a 17 millimeter nut and I'll just pop back in the workshop it'll be a bit dark so let's just wander back out and uh, here we go now here's my little hint tip for the day very handy hint gadget tip uh, this is an old speaker magnet which I use to uh, hold all my bits and pieces that I take off the bike so they don't go running around so very handy and that is 17 millimeter which just fits right on here and there we go in the next videos um, it would be a good idea if I had somebody else hold the camera because that's a dandy thing to do to put a nut on and um, there you go so we'll just run that one all the way down the threaded spindle and then we'll go to fitting it on and adjusting the brakes so that'll be in the next section here we go and we can just fit the other nut on here which is usually a 16 and then we'll put the wheel back in the gear mechanism so just gonna see if I can show you how this will fit in the in the gear see how the gear sits in here and then slots back into the frame which I'll have to do with both hands but that's just to show you the positioning of the derailleur so you've got your top chain coming over goes over the cog on the spindle and then goes back over the two tensioning rollers and then we'll see the fitting of the brake this is the other part of the brake which usually obviously comes with the brake and then is fitted to the cable but um, to make it easy I've taken this little bracket off here this bracket screws to the uh, drum here and is usually sold with it um, and to go on the cable but to make it easy because this has been threaded through and sealed I've kept this uh, nut and bracket on the cable and then we'll just do the fitting and adjusting afterwards all right so we've fitted the shaft back into the frame 
and adjusted these two nuts here uh, made sure that the wheel free wheels centrally as it should do in the frame and I've put this bracket back on the frame here nut and bolt nut the back side and the washer to hold down then this bracket seats on and it goes through a hole in this uh, hub cover here so that uh, it doesn't move and that fixes this brake part to the frame so it doesn't rotate obviously um, to provide the braking motion and then the next little bit is just to put this uh, bolt through here I've left it on for the video right now I'll just do it and show you then that goes through undo the bolt clip it through the hole put the nut back on and adjust for the braking and so I've just put that bolt through it's got the nut the other side and you just want to make sure there's a little lug on here see the lug on the bracket and you want to make sure that the spring on the cable just sits over there to hold it straight and there you go all right and you just want to pull this uh, interior cable through the external tubing make sure pull it this way going out so that you've got the cable tight before you tighten up this nut here and then that seizes the cable onto the bracket ready for the actuation so I'll just tighten that up and then we'll see how she goes all right so that's tightened up We've got this bolt here uh, holding the cable onto the bracket. This is the actuator arm, evidently. So you want to make sure that's good and tight. And then you'll probably want to adjust these just to hold this with the cable. So the cable is already slightly under tension. And you can unscrew this one and then lock it off with this one to hold it in the right place. And then we'll just give this a little spin see how she goes and then see how the brakes go there you go wonderful once again we'll give them a little a little spin there you go perfect all right then so that's the end of the video hope you enjoyed that Jess Felbenser here Felbenser.co don't forget subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to see the next videos that I'm putting up. Bye for now. See you in the next one.